now. Hello, everyone. Uh, I was just uh, here with, with a, a, a new spokesman. This is X-Men. And X-Men, would you please tell the audience a little about yourself? Yeah, I'm a member of the National Coalition for Men, uh, the uh, men's rights legal organization. And I also run my own website called Humanity. Uh, I started off writing, uh, submitting a few articles for a voice for men, but then I started creating my own a website, you know, just because, you know, just you're free to write what you want if you have your own website, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, uh, legally, I, I usually try to, I've been trying to work with fathers' rights groups so we can get shared parenting bills passed and all other types of men's rights legislation passed. And sometimes, you know, I, I, sometimes my, our group goes to a homeless shelter so we can serve the homeless, you know, because a lot of homeless, most homeless guys are men. So, yeah. Oh, fantastic. You know, that, that's great. You see, the big trouble with, where I'm at, X Men, is there's nothing like that going on. A lot of um, MRAs, I don't know, I can't really call myself an MRA as an activist. Mm -hmm. Online activist is the best I can get because there's mm -hmm. no group here. Do you get, I, oh, I, think, wow. like, uh, there's, uh, I think you really have to be in certain important parts of the world where you really have to deal with misandry on a regular basis before some guys will actually work towards it. Yeah. You know? And it's just not uh, the, the this environment's a bit different from where I'm at, you know. Yeah, sometimes it has to get to a point where it's so it's it's so bad or it's nearly too late for people to start acting. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. for for people for everybody to get together and say this is a problem. Yeah, exactly. So I'm really glad to see you guys are in a position that you can actually work at something. Now, uh, the reason everyone that we brought this up is this, this there's a particular this is someone else's channel uh mm -hmm. what's can you remember his name i i, I don't want to it takes forever to un unscreen it here let's see what's his name bring it up again men's for right yeah. do do oh yeah views from the mask i'm yeah. <laughs> i take it he means the, the masculinity or the masculinist or something like that anyway he put up a a hit piece which is what this is, is a big mouth cartoon, which is a hit piece on the MRM. And he claims that he was uh, just uh, critiquing the MRM, but there's no commentary on this. Like right. if he stopped this and made a commentary, go, oh yes, he's really critiquing it. So what we'll do is we will play it and we'll stop it at points and we will critique it. So you can offer your critique. So X-Men, just shout out whenever you want me to stop and I'll just stop it. Oh yeah, and before we start, I, just, I wanted to let you know when I was talking to that guy in the comment section before he turned the comments off, he tried to claim that he was an MRA at one point in the middle of, in the midst of, of all that criticism. So, you know, that's, that's, their, that's their new shield when people critique them. They say, oh no, I'm, I'm in favor of your, of, your, <laughs> of your plight and your group. I was just being critical. That's yes, like, this is- like a time yeah. really why I'm angry with myself for for us not to get together and doing this much earlier because mm -hmm. the comment section would have made this video that's much more valuable because this yeah. back and forth was incredible and and a lot of the problems is uh, uh kind of a newbie mistake was to saying you know the, the real mras aren't really about this because the mra does have to deal with with these these people who like to infiltrate. And yeah. so he, they it, all they have to do is find one alt-right or white nationalist and say, there, there they, they are in the MRM. You can't deny it. You know, and that's the uphill battle. So I, I don't even bother saying, you know, what a M, real MRA is. I said, look, this, this is a smear against the MRM and that's what yeah. we stick to, you know? Yeah. So let's let's give it a start. This is supposedly young guy, the cartoon where the young guy shows up for uh, <laughs> a, a, an MRA meeting. I and, believe this is the IC. I believe this is the ICMI because I went to one in 2019. I believe they're trying to mock the ICMI. There's an international uh, conference on men's issues. <laughs> it happens every year. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 
So let's let's play it. See, restaurant, and I don't open the door for her because I guess I'm not supposed to now. Didn't you get the memo, Dan? Chivalry's dead. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is the part of the mocking because uh, I might hear like guys joke about that on a personal level, like mm -hmm. if we were talking to one another, but they wouldn't do this as At a, a meeting. whole meeting. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe maybe bring it up on, on, on Facebook or something do a do a little conversation, but not do a whole meeting. Yeah. And no. and, and and at at this at worst, so at worst, he's it, what he's claiming is that MRAs are evil because they don't open the doors for women and they brag about it. <laughs> so that's a, that, that that clearly means we must be stopped, right? I mean, we're not opening doors, we're telling other people about it. <laughs> well, it's trivializing the MRM. <laughs> By saying, "Oh, these these guys are, are talking about trivial matters," is what I. Right. From, this is what I'm getting from it, anyway. Right. Yeah, we're all laughing. And then she freaks out at me. It's like, what do they want from us? See, this is what I'm talking about. We can't win. This kid gets it. What's up, little dude? Hello, other dude. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Share your struggle. Okay. Well, there was this girl. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's like, oh, they just hate women. That's the other right. Thing. right. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it's, it's funny that the, it, it's funny how like um you'll hear you'll hear women or women's groups always say this that um men's groups never try never try to do anything to talk about men's issues or or to get men's issues more in plight. Yet every time a men's group pops up, circumcision groups or fathers groups or NATO or any any men's group, it's always up and down that, that they're one hundred percent sure that it's just that they hate women. <laughs> It yeah. is 100 percent sure that they, they can't name and they can't even accurately name any of the points that we make, but they're 100 percent sure that that's the case. Yeah. yeah. Well, we know it's it's not really so much that they're sure, is that that is their narrative. You know. Yeah. And also it doesn't help that I suspect I haven't seen this cartoon from the beginning, like the episode he's showing. Mm -hmm. but I suspect this guy probably had an argument with a girlfriend or something like that. And that is going to be the the shot too it's like oh you just had an argument with your girlfriend or something like that <laughs> but a lot of it too is guys they do see a lot of unnecessary disrespect like it, as if disrespect is necessary but you know what i mean that right. that is that is actually culture wide and and their experiences with a single woman just they see oh this is this is generally true everywhere you know, yeah. but uh, but that's a, that's the problem. It's like, where does your personal uh, troubles end and the actual true blue, you know, like like you say, circumcision, circumcision is still so important. You know, it's an actual issue, you know, but it's all about trivializing this thing. Thank you. Exactly. Women are all mixed up nowadays, right? They seem to have forgotten that their biological imperative is to have babies. Uh, no, no, this is something I don't hear at an MRA meeting ever. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, from what I can recall, the issue is is that if women that women get the option of whether or not they want to have children, or men don't get the option of whether or not they want to pay child support. Um, and even if it's extreme levels of child support, <laughs> um, so I was, I would say that's what, men, that's what MRAs are talking about. Not just how they're, they're, they should be having, they should be having children. Yeah. No, I, I think we're saying maybe I'm saying, I think we're saying that we should be consistent <laughs> with our beliefs. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, and the other thing is the problem is they only need one nutcase who infiltrates the MRM or is, he's, who's a bad faith actor to talk like this because I have heard individuals talk like this in like MGTOW spaces or stuff like that. It's really a begging, like, don't you understand that you want to have babies and you need me to have babies. Great. And so therefore you need me, you know, it's Great. that sort of thing. And, and I just don't see that in an MRF meeting. <laughs> Sorry. Great. Hmm. Great. Well, you see, that's that's the different. Um, the reason it stands out to people uh, or to feminists when an MR when a crazy MRM pops up is because it's not the norm. Um, it doesn't stand yeah. out for feminists because it's normal for feminists to act <laughs> as crazy as crazy as this. So it doesn't stand out for us. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, you guys, you guys always act like this. It's, it's so natural, we casual, if you will. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> 
I'm glad we're doing this now because the first time I watched this, it was just, sorry, I got too way too riled. Mm. Okay. Because, and this is science, right? Women's brains are smaller. No, they're not. And that's why my wife was... No, oh, here, like, I'm sorry, but I don't think... Uh, I, I, the most I've ever heard was guys talk about maybe the differences between their brains and estrogen and testosterone affecting your brain differently or stuff like that. I've, I've, well, I've never yet. What's that? Well, see, that's the difference. When, when you hear people, when people critique feminists, they critique them based off of what they say and what they do. Um, the loudest critics of MRAs are people who've most likely never talked to an MRA or seen an MRA thing in their entire life. Just no. their, their weird perception of or how much they can exaggerate the truth, <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, you know, something, it's sad. I've said this before, like, there is an instinct to, uh, uh, to avoid men's issue, period, because I never even got to notice it until uh, Girl White Swats, that's Karen Strong, for the, right. you know, I saw a video of hers and I basically, as a man, needed a woman to talk for me before I was even willing to consider it. You know, that's how bad it is. You know, this yeah. is interesting to, to avoid it, you know, <laughs> because it doesn't get talked about, you know. I think what it is, guys are just so used to the abuse that they just see it as normal, you know. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Also, I think it's also the, um, it's the, it's the irony. It's a big irony, you know. Um, we're kind of like, so it's, it's to the point that we're, that some guys will, will like mock other guys or will, or women will mock guys for being emotional or for showing any type of emotion or try to, you know, see if they can find any personal text to, to stop them from opening up to keep, keep them in that little shell where they don't say anything. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's just the world's biggest irony. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like people telling you always telling men, on TV, like, hey, you men need to open up more, men need to talk more, men need to speak up. And then they speak up and then people critique them and they'll, you know, you'll shout them down for, for speaking up. It's like you're, you're getting this double message. Yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. That's why a lot of times uh, there'll be, like, especially Reddit, I'll see uh, something pertaining to men or, or just happens to be an, an issue and I'll give a opinion and the upvotes start really coming up. And all of a sudden, the only people who speak to me are the ones who are posed. So because people are upvoting me, I know there's guys who agree with me, but they, they don't enter the conversation. Right. You know, that's, that's, that's what I think really is really the problem. Like guys do have an avoidance of it. Instinctively, I think, you know, that to show kind of any kind of vulnerability, we're going to get slammed. So, yeah. so when you talk about the feminists, you're talking about like people in general, really, uh, they're gaslighting men, you know, it's a gaslight. It's like them blaming men for something that all both, both genders on society are involved in, you know, mm -hmm. was stupid enough to leave me for a black doctor. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, now they're, so, so, they're painting. So now Right. No, cool. So that's now this is a full blown white supremacy. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I mean, I've re I've written an article. I don't know if you get a chance to read. I've written an article called "The Racial Dilemma of the MRM," where there is where there are some some racial scenarios we need to address, where we need to do a better job addressing race. But I don't think we're a, anywhere near a white supremacist organization yeah. that <laughs> doesn't. Well, actually, um, you're talking about. Not, not only have I read, but I do plan on doing a video talking about it as well. And, uh, and that's the thing. There's the, the white, white supremacists do look for places to invade. And the MRM right. is a ripe place for it because uh, I find the men's spaces don't exercise enough. Uh, they don't exert enough effort to keep bad faith actors out. Yeah. And so all you need is a small group of guys like that in the MRM and, and they're going to dirty it up and they're going to chase normal guys away. Mm -hmm. And also they're going to be used as scapegoats for the MRM, but because you're right, actually I read your article and it is a problem in the MRM is to keep these people out. They, they don't work to keep these guys out. They, there should be a criteria, 
in the MRM to say we are a non we are non racist in every way. And, Keep that out. And we also you also include in our stance on feminism because I, I see that that's become an issue too. Like feminists, we're letting like feminists like say weird things that that generally we're not supposed to be letting them say. Um, yes. Or, I've, I've seen people like agree with the, the the notion of feminism. Like no, the the feminism is not bad because of their radicals. They're bad because of their philosophy. If you take all radicals yeah. out, they would still be bad because of their philosophy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's a it's it's like having a moderate KKK. There's no such right. thing. You know. Yeah. It's a it's a hate movement, and we have to stick to saying that it's not an extreme thing for us to say. It's an accurate thing for us to say. Right. Like like I've talked to feminists who are nicer or more open, but I always clarify to them from the jump that there's something wrong with the philosophy of their movement point blank. I don't know. I don't sugarcoat that. Like you can talk to them, but make sure you clarify from the jump. There's something wrong with the philosophy. There's something wrong with the rhetoric. There's something wrong with the strategy. There's something wrong all the, all the way around. It's not just a, a radicals messing your, your movement up. Right. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we got to do for, for the uh, as race, you know, let them know like, yeah, um, there's nothing, you know, just make sure that, that you all know that this, here's a, here's a certain section, here's a certain line you don't cross. I'm talking about race, you know, you don't say these yes. outrageous, weak, straight things, you know, you don't, you don't affiliate with these outrageous organizations. And, and you know, you, you set that line, you set that line, you, you set that line and you uh, set that tone so that other yes. people know that they're not welcome. If they have those un unfortunate views, they're not welcome in this area. That's right. That's right. Because the, the thing is, you want to say, you know, you don't want, uh, you know, like a, an Hispanic man show up and say, sorry, uh, <laughs> you, we're not going to help you out because you're of your particular race. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it, racism is uh, antithetical to, to any good MRM because it's yeah. against, you know. Period. Yeah, because because getting men to get to go against each other by race is just going to make the this the whole uh, plan harder to, to accomplish in the first place. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I find it's, it's 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 more of an issue with men because uh, a lot of racism has its feet in um, mate guarding. You know, you're like like you can have a racist woman who nevertheless will still gladly work with other women of other races. Because yeah. sex is more gender is more important that, to them than than we, they they all have access to men. Yeah, so the suffragists it, <laughs> the suffragists were were very very well known for that, like working yes. with black women despite racist views. Yeah, and yet black women still join. Yeah, yes, because like I said, because they they know in the end that uh, th their gender means more to them than their race, so they would tolerate yeah. that. You know. Let's see what the else. Whatever that means. Probably means that he went to medical school. And then her Jew lawyer <laughs> says it's because I beat up my gay <laughs> name. PC. So now they're also <laughs> homophobic. <right? laughs> I, mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're throwing out everything in the, in the book today. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, maybe I'm, I'm misinterpreting, but I, I've, I've read critiques. I've written critiques for TV shows or movies or for people or for organizations. I, I usually think critiques are based off of things that are actually happening or, or statements or rhetoric that's actually happening. This just this is just a cartoon with a bunch of uh, extreme stereotype. This isn't even a natural stereotype. They're going we're going above and beyond in a oh, stereotype God. environment. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Bullshit. That's why we need a patriarchal ethno state of pure European blood. Yeah. Oh, this is not, the MRM is the alt right. That's what. Where, why would the since when was the MRM? When is the MRM advocated for a patriarchal ethno state? When is the? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when is the MRM advocated that we're trying to bring back tr everything back to traditional times? When, when have we ever said anything like this? This, I mean, I I, do, I don't even. It's just it's hilarious. I mean, if MRMs are advocating to lower prison sentences or that we should stop believing that the mother is the most fit, and if we should just decide that both parents yeah. are most fit. That's a modern standpoint. That's not a that's not a traditional standpoint. It's not us having to go back to the to the beginning. We're advocating that whoever is, is more, you know, whoever is more fit should be the parent. We're advocating that men should be able to open up more. That's a modern I mean, this, these are not traditional standpoints that we're having to go back to. So for this guy to sit there and say we're trying to go back to a patriarchal ethno state, that doesn't that doesn't even make logical, logical sense. That's literally the exact opposite of what our movement says.
Uh, exactly. Actually, the MRM wants to uh, keep up with the times and, 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 and actually imp- go into the future. You want to cut out all the uh, all the dead weight that that is like the, the stuff that the feminists want is actually very traditionalist. They are yeah, traditional. Are- yeah, 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 and our, our frustration with women, because most people, what our real frustration of women is not that is is not that they want to be modern, is that they're not being consistent with their modern with their modern takes. We want them to hold. We're trying to hold them accountable to their beliefs. You know, uh, modern. You know, women can have those rights, but they also need those responsibilities that men have as well. You know, we either either we both have to come up or we both have to come down, but but we have to be consistent with what we're saying. Um, so. So yeah, well, we're, we're actually they're, what they say is that they're about quality, but they're not because pre- pre- yeah. they, they want equality and convenient. Yeah, they they want men in their traditional gender roles. I mean, how how many house husbands have there actually been? You know, none. yeah, none that I could ever. I haven't run into one yet in real life. Have you? No, and I, I think there was a poll saying that women said they would not take care of a, a guy with less money if they didn't have as much money as them. So. Yeah, exactly. They, they, they were they were honest. So the girls are about keeping guys in their defunct gender roles. They are traditionalist in the end, you know. Yeah. So let's see. We're almost and you notice, guys, uh, X Men. Now that we're almost through with this, and this guy, uh, masculine, is not doing. He's not in here. He's not bringing any commentary. To this right. little skit so right, right. maybe somebody should tell him what commentary means because I, I think he, he might be struggling on that in that yeah. department so <laughs> okay i get it now they're nazis we're with nazis all right lock the door andrew we're gonna inglorious bastards these aos you want to light the room on fire and kill everybody yeah what were you thinking i was thinking we just so, and the also Nazi. they're they're not even using things like uh alt-right or uh or some of these other yeah proper terms they're just calling them outright nazis but also you ever notice that there's the comical book character here is supposed to voice they're like he's like the id and he's basically given the what what people would like to say like yeah we want to just burn these guys alive <laughs> of course and so the other guy kind of gives his like oh no no let's give the reasonable thing and just leave but, but the comic book character i think really speaks for what people really think of the mrm like these mm-hmm. guys should just be burnt to the ground you know yeah, yeah but and, and you, you know um i think the problem is that is that we we kind of let it that's an arrow get out of hand like we never like we, we kind of like try to constantly be reasonable with people who think that you know if people think they should burn you to the ground i don't really think there's a middle ground between that <laughs> i think you know, if people aren't yeah. willing to listen to you, you probably shouldn't be, you know, trying to shake their hand or, or see if to see if they're okay. I think you should be trying to push back against them. Like, no, you're, you know, um, we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep talking and we're going to keep being here and until like, until things change, uh, you know, you got to have that type of attitude, not a, not a, um, let's see if we can talk about it or let's see if we can, let's see if we can reason because clearly you see, they're not, they're not willing to reason and they're willing to make crazy videos like this trying to slander us every second. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the MRM is more pertinent than ever. Mm-hmm. What you guys are trying to do is even more important, believe it or not, because I just a video not that long ago where the guys, uh, they were, they're striving to, to use uh, incels uh, and put the, lump them in with terrorists to call incels terrorists. Jesus so what they're going to be doing is calling the average guy an incel and then right. incel will be considered terrorist and they can take you don't have any rights at that point so right. that's the and, way it's going to do <laughs> i've told people about like when people say extreme mrm um when you talk when you look at all the men's groups the mrm is a lot more moderate compared to the other men's groups because we're not telling we're not saying that we're that only men can join we're not saying that you know we're not uh 
getting into all these these violent crimes. We're not doing committing all these violent crimes. We have a bunch. We do have a bunch of solutions, a bunch of legal and uh, uh, solutions and meetings and all that. And we have not, you know, shut you know shut people out saying that you know other people with opposing opinions can't come to our meetings and, and express their and express their issues. So I mean, all things considered, we're way more moderate than the average than than other in comparison to other men's groups. And yeah, they'll 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 swear up and down that we're an extreme radical organization. You know. Well, to be I honest, the, I think yeah. X-Men that the MRM needs to become more radical. And, I, and, I, yes, and, I've said that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's got to put up more barriers and say, no, not we're not allowing anyone to talk. You know, like in my channel, I won't let someone come in and talk about toxic masculinity or something. Right yeah. I said, Sorry, no, no. That's You go to the, all these other places that tolerate that. I, this is hate speech. You're not, I'm not letting you in my channel. Because yeah, the only the only radical thing about the MRM is that they they want men's issues to be passed, and that's that's seen as a radical thing in society. So well, it is radical when you think about it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> because there's never been a case where that has actually happened historically. When right. You think about yeah. it, you know, yeah. like what when you think about it, take uh, something like Shanghai. Uh, uh, men have actually historically just been walking, mind their business on the pier and then been kidnapped and find themselves at sea. And now they're enslaved. That's yeah. happened in real life all the time. You know, where, where do you see that? Like if that started to happen to women, even in those days, there'd be an uproar, you know, the, it would be loud, you know, <laughs> disappeared or daughter just disappeared. People would be like, saying what happened did, did they get the police out did there did, did be consequences exactly but now i just wanted to say too bad we weren't like, like i said i'm kicking myself for not getting us to do this uh earlier because he turned the comments off and it was a very long winded uh go between between you and views from the mask mm -hmm. it was very telling and he, 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 I mean, it's easy to say that when you can't see it, but uh, he even warned you that he might take to turn the comments off. Did he not? Yeah. Uh, um, I, I, like I said, I, I, he, it wasn't, it wasn't hard for me because I, um, there's this guy, there's this Twitter account. I told you his name was Takedown in my race. Um, and I, I was just, it, it was, I remember we, we were talking and I, I just like started like owning his ass in these debates. And it was like, yeah. it was getting to a point because he had way more followers than me. So he would usually get a lot more likes, but it was slowly getting like changing. I was slowly getting more and more likes, but he was getting less and less. And he got so freaked out. He had just at one point blocked me. I was like, he can even do, he can even deal with me constantly calling his ass out every time he says something, you know, he couldn't deal with, I, cause I have, I, you know, I'll, I'll prepare for these debates. I, you know, it got to a point where I, I, I was so, I, I started just like making Twitter, like I would make this Twitter thread and I would show every single possible feminist argument that, that would pop up. I would have the response to it <laughs> and every yeah. time someone would give it to me I would just like just say I would just send it to him like here you go I want you to I want you to read this I'm not about I'm not about to keep doing the same thing like you can read it <laughs> you know um yeah, yeah. They, they, it, was, it was they literally did a hit take down MRAs and a bunch of other feminists literally had a concerted effort to to ban me from from Twitter and even and even cheered when I when I got removed because <laughs> they were going out of their way that they were going out of saying they were going out of their way to to remove me from from the Twitter to get me banned. That's how it's done. Like that's why they want control of social media, is because yeah. everything they, that the feminists are based on is lies. Yeah. So once someone knows how to tackle the issues, they've got nothing. They're beaten. So the only thing they can do is silence you. You know everything. That's a, that's a, so it's the same thing from views with the mask. Like I, I've dealt with this, this kind so often. I was already prepared. You know for these these talking points, and I was already prepared to like call them out. And of course, you know, eventually he just get anymore. So he said, "Look, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, delete this whole comment section, for, or clear this whole comment section, and you, you know, remove comments." Because uh, because logically, he, he he knew he you know he knew he made a he made he thought he was gonna make a funny cartoon, make a funny cartoon and uh, uh, mocking MREs. And he thought everybody was going to agree with him. He didn't expect this much pushback. He thought it'd get like a, a few MRAs and then he can claim that we're just being triggered and then we can end it. He didn't expect all this pushback and people calling him out and people, you know, responding to him with facts. He didn't, he didn't expect all that. So now he looks goofy because he made this, he made this whole, this whole fucking cartoon on something that he's a premise that he's completely wrong about. And he got called out and he got checked for it. And 
his ego got threatened, so he had to so he had to remove the comments. If he was smart, he would have taken this video down. Yeah, that's simple. Because uh, I mean, this kind of like you know something I do see that there is guys out there are guys out there who will actually back you up in comment sections and uh, thumb you up, and so they're out there. It's just it, it's like like you say before, it's guys they they want things to to be become right, but they mm-hmm. themselves really don't want to become involved. You know. It, right. it, the problem is men do really need to become involved you know on the whole yeah i mean this is where we have to um this is that moment where in you know uh self you know uh self-sufficiency has to come in we have to you know we have to step up you you know we have to step up and and the more and more you speak out the 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 harder it's going to be for people to ignore you you know so I, i i would that's what i would think we need to do and you know something too is men and women too they will back mm-hmm. someone who is actually making some headway so i mean a lot of it is they're really just looking for that one guy or a small group of guys who really start uh doing something that has an effect and mm-hmm. uh, th- they'll back it you know yeah. you know we had a lot of momentum at one time before the you know pro male collective broke up uh, we, were, we, were, we were getting some stuff done. People were looking and saying, oh, these guys are getting Reddits, you know, these disgusting feminist Reddits closed down. And they were supporting us. And of course, it went to hell in a handbag. That's another story. But yeah. the, the point is, that's why I think, one, that the MRM, there's two things. One, the MRM needs to become more radical and stop worrying, the, the being, stop being uh, concerned with being moderate. And two, really put up the the gates. Say sorry, we want all these infiltrators. Uh, we're shutting them out because really, yeah. the, the MRM really does need to, to make sure there's no alt right. There's no right wingers are. I'm sorry, are just terrible. You know, in general, bad right. cons. I should say. I should voice it more correctly and say traditional conservatives. Mm-hmm. They want men in their place. They have to be kept out. Yeah, conspiracy nutters just mess up the place. There's a whole group of guys so that you have to just keep out. Yeah. So X Men, uh, thank you. I hope you like you like you say you have your own blog, right? You have your own. Yeah, humanity. Yes. Yes. So anyone who's listening, if they want to check out X Men's, uh, you know, written material, please do. Matter of fact, I, I probably should put a uh, one in the comment section too, so people can go to it and, and find you. Oh, thank you. I, I highly appreciate it. All right, X Men. Is there anything else you want to say before we close up? Um. Yeah, I was. I I was so so shocked that so much. Uh, this. How long is that video? Like five minutes. This video he put in here is 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 a minute nineteen. It's not. It's not even two minutes. So this, uh, I've, I'm so shocked that a, a, a video could be that short and have so much, so many like props, so many ex- exaggerations and so many lies and so much propaganda in, in a minute in 19. That's like college professors, when they teach propaganda, that sh- they should look at show this video as an example. Yeah. That, that's, I mean, how much you can fit <laughs> in a minute 19. That's almost an art. It's almost an art. How much, how much nonsense you can fit in, in one minute. It, it's, it's. I, I'm just I'm 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 blown away. <laughs> and matter of fact, I'll tell you, it's probably a minute because the first, let's see, yeah, the first ten seconds of this 119 minute, you know, minute 19, yeah, it, it, even it, more is, is, is something else. So it's actually a minute and ten seconds. Oh, that's how brutal and efficient it is, you know. <laughs> and for yeah. opportunity, you know, like what was call? I'm mucking up his name. Um, something mask. What does it say? Views from the mask. For him to put up this, uh, you know, propaganda clamp and then pretend he's on men's side, I mean, that is disgusting. That is disgusting. It, 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 it's, it's something you don't even really have words for at this point. It's, it's, it's out there. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm on your side. You know, oh, my God. <laughs> right, because the people... Gets gaslighted so much by society. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm on your side. I'm just I'm just making fun of your entire organization and calling you guys Nazis and white yeah. supremacists and everything. Yeah, that's, that's what people on our side would do. Clearly, that's all. <laughs> it gives you give the entire opposite of whatever you are. <laughs> oh my God! So okay, X Men, thank you. I'm dying to get this video out. I I think this is a really important talk for their MRM, and like I say, I'm just so far you know, outside, I can't really be even very involved. So I'm just glad you're, you're in more of a central hub where guys are actually working together, you know? All right, yeah. X-Men. If yeah. you ever need me, you know, for anything, <laughs> for another video, just let me know. I'm always off I on will. these two days. I yeah. this one good, went really well. Thank <laughs> you, X-Men. Thank you. Good day, sir. <laughs>